This is a small video about the gradient properties. So I have a mesh item with a bit of geometry in here. I created an item mask, the mesh item mask here in the shader tree. It has of course a material and I've added a gradient to it. And the thing that I want to discuss about the gradient is when you go to the properties and all the way down here you have value and color and all the way to the right you have a small triangle so when you click this you have a few options you can open in editor single line shorter view medium height view and taller view so open in editor when you click this the gradient editor will be opened and you can select your channels that is actually the same thing when you push or press edit gradient the same thing will happen but interestingly you can set your view of these single lines to a shorter view and of course you can edit over here but of course it's still rather small you have the medium height view and you have the taller view so most likely you most likely you will expand it to taller view or in, uh, decrease it to single line and when you set it to taller view you have a few options so you can show and hide your color channels and you can show and hide your alpha channel and you can edit over here without the need to go to the gradient editor itself so for instance I can select a key in this editor and drag it around edit the slope just like that I also can select all keys by clicking down here on one of the keys and then all the keys get selected and then for instance I could set the color by clicking on this color picker and then I choose a different color so now I have added a different color with that color selected I can press the delete key and it should delete that key and again select that key delete it and this is another way of operating with gradients instead of having to open the gradient editor and this might be useful to speed up your work workflow so just wanted to share that with you hope you found it useful bye for now